Hello winders. I just want to show you how I finish this uh, 150 horsepower rewind. So right now I'm on, I'm on the lift of the uh, coil. I often uh, uh, making a video without finishing the rewind. In like this. So this time I want to show you how I finish rewinding a motor. Just like this, 150 horsepower Lincoln. So, yeah. So every time I rewind, especially lap winding, I used to, you know, lift the uh, coil, the first coils, so that it will, uh, it will finish. It looks nice and clean and neat. So that will make you your job professionally and of course uh, I will uh, you know uh, adds up the uh, efficiency of the motor for me yeah so lots of guys asking me what's the wedge I'm using top cover uh, that it can easily break okay eh? so that says uh, a fiber the top wedge just is a fiber it's not a paper so right here it's uh, I'm putting the top wedge and then I'm putting another uh, second wedge it's upside down so uh, like I said this motor is not tight to rewind so I need to put an extra uh, wedge to make it tight so I don't wanna you know to prevent the, the wire from moving make tighter so varnish will hold it so in the long run to prevent that uh, wire from moving uh, it's better to have another wedge on the top or you can use bamboo you can use a stick a wood but you know they are not rated to the high temperature so it's better i'm using this it's better to use uh, that wedge because it's rated to 150 c or more so some are they're using a uh, Beculite, so they just you know cut it in a in a right uh, uh, width um, and uh, length of the uh, slats. So it's a lot of job for doing that. So that's why I'm using the wedge for uh, making it tight the uh, winding. So yeah. Uh, as you can as you can see there I'm just pushing with my hand a few taps and it will go in easily and here I'm putting the uh, second wedge upside down there okay yeah there. the purpose of that is to make it tight okay generally to make it tight the winding it will stay it will hold you know that paper so the one i'm using that's a face insulation so that is important for a rewind motor okay so that separate each coil each group or each uh face of the motor so if you don't have that you will easily uh making a 50 percent uh, less efficiency of the motor it will run but you know just like you know those two uh those two coils just like the other one is negative and the other one is positive so when they are touching each other so you know when it's positive and negative it's, it has a spark right but although there is a uh, insulation of that uh, of the magnetic wire but in the long run from uh, uh you know working so many years of working and it's getting weak the insulation when it gets hot so it will rubs and without that uh, paper the face insulation you will create a spark just like positive and negative okay when it gets when uh, when it create a spark that's the time the motor or the coil will be burned or there is a turn to turn short something like that or probably it will make a big explosion on the winding 
So don't forget to put uh, a face insulation, that paper, every time. Make sure to make sure the groups or the face are properly uh, separated with that paper so that you don't have a problem uh, touching each other. Like I said, in the long, long run, it will rub, get weak the insulation, and it will create, uh, you know, explosion or uh, burn on the uh, insulation. So first, you have you have a turn to turn short. So lots of our subscriber, lots of guys asking me why I never, uh, I'm not using a paper for the wire protection when I'm uh, uh, inserting the wire inside the slot. Uh, you know, I have uh, I have already uh, protection on the, uh, the core. So that is the metal lamination uh, insulation. So I spray, I sprayed the uh, core or the uh, lamination before I'm rewinding after cleaning everything. So that will help to uh, you know, prevent uh, scratching uh, the wire when I'm uh, putting uh, inside the slot. So, like I said, I'm just pushing the wire gently, slowly. So, if there's a big scratch, I can feel it with my hand because, you know, every time I pinch that wire, I can feel that there's a scratch on my winding or in the wire. So down to uh, two coils, as you can see, I'm straightening the wire before I'm uh, pushing in inside the slot. So what you gotta do here is you have to line up the uh, coil to uh, into the slot before you insert the wires. It's this is not the hard rewind that I'm showing you. So mostly uh, the tight rewind mostly the high speed with small bore um, of the motor so if it is tight so all you need to do is just like that line up the coil into the slot perfectly mold it perfectly into the slot before you in start uh, inserting the wires so if it is tight you have to uh, you know Take some wood, a flat wood, and then hammer, and then hammer it down that coil so that you have more room for inserting uh, the last coil. So, yeah, that's it. It's done. Thank you for watching, Winders, and see you on my next video.